Hi, my name is Patrick Heron. I'm here today to talk to you about my ebook, The Return of the Antichrist and the New World Order. I'm speaking to you today from the beautiful county of Mayo in the west coast of Ireland. And from here, it's next stop, New York. Hi, my name is Patrick Heron. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, presently, we're on the west coast of Ireland in Mayo, in a beautiful spot. I'm going to talk to you today about my recent ebook, which is called The Return of the Antichrist and the New World Order. And you can have a look at my website. It took my art department a long time to make this, so I thought I'd better get it in there. Neff.ie and you can read there the introduction to this book and this ebook is soon to be made into a, a proper book I believe so if you watch my website um, we will have information about that very soon. Now there's huge interest at the moment in the Antichrist. Down through the years uh, many people have been labelled as the dreaded Antichrist starting with some of the Caesars 2000 years ago some of the early popes, and then in more recent times we have Stalin, Hitler, Mussolini, Mao Zedong, and then up to present day when people have insisted that perhaps Tony Blair was the Antichrist, or Bill Clinton, or Hillary Clinton even, or George Bush. In fact, I had somebody sending me several emails insisting that Ronnie Reagan was the, the Antichrist. And of course, many, many people, including many evangelicals today, believe that the present incumbent of the United States uh, of America, the President Barack Obama, is indeed the Antichrist because he's so eloquent and because of the effect he has on people when he speaks. But let me tell you that all these people who talk about these people and reckon that they are the Antichrist have one thing in common. They are all wrong. For the name of the Antichrist, his present whereabouts, when he will appear on the world stage, uh, his association with the United States and prophecy are all given in the plain text of the book of Revelation and I can assure you that no human being, no president of the EU or president of the United States is the Antichrist. They may be a sort of a John the Baptist for the coming of the Antichrist but they are not the man for all this information is given to us in the plain text of the book of Revelation and elsewhere in Holy Writ. Now the word Antichrist appears only four times in the whole of Scripture. In fact, the words the Antichrist appear only twice in the epistle of John. He's never called this in the book of Revelation. What he is called in the book of Revelation is referred to as the beast. In fact, he's called the beast from the abyss. And the word beast is used in the book of Revelation 35 times. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. No less than 35 times. And 33 of these refer to this man we call the Antichrist. He's called the beast from the abyss. In fact, to give him his full title, he's called the beast who ascends out of the bottomless pit, having seven heads and ten horns. Now, I'd like to begin this presentation by going to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, which tells us a little bit about the Antichrist. And it says in, Revela or in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. The original two Bibles that were translated into English, translated the falling away here as departure, which is the proper translation. Uh, more about that in my e-book. It should read, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a departure first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So this man is called a man of sin, the son of perdition. And the verse 8 it says, And that then that shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The wicked there means the lawless one. Even him, whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. So, this tells us a couple of things. It tells us, number one, this man is going, this person is going to be a man. The Antichrist is a man. And it says he's going to deceive people with power and signs and lying wonders. 
In the new international version, the NIV, it says that he is going to deceive people with counterfeit signs, miracles and wonders. So this man, when he comes, will have supernatural abilities. Powerful, spiritual, supernatural abilities that no human being possesses. When you get into the book of Revelation, as I do in my book, uh, which also covers the signs of the apocalypse and many of the things that happen in the book of Revelation, you will see that this man is a powerful spiritual being and he can do all sorts of counterfeit signs, miracles and wonders. When Jesus Christ was on earth, he did signs, miracles and wonders. When his followers after the day of Pentecost preached the word signs, miracles and wonders follow those that believe. And in the same way, when this man arrives, he is going to be able to do signs, miracles and wonders. Antichrist does not just mean against, it can mean in the stead of Christ. And when this man comes, he's coming in the, set, the stead of Christ. He's going to be a counterfeit Messiah. In John chapter 5, when Jesus was here, he said, I come in my Father's name, and you will not hear me. You reject me, but another will come in his own name. Him you will accept. So, this man is called, as I say, by John the Revelator, the beast who ascends out of the bottomless pit, having seven heads and ten horns. You know, in the, this book, The Return of the Antichrist in the New World Order, um, is a lot of information. We are told, when Christians become Christians, they are described uh, in Scripture as babes in Christ. And as babes, they need the milk of the word, because you don't feed a baby steak. But this book is steak, it's meat. It's very strong meat, it's fillet steak. And in this book, the reader will be taken on an excursion, as it were, behind the veil of the apocalypse, to glimpse truths that have been hidden from mankind for centuries. But because we're now in the last days, these secrets are being revealed. I would like now very briefly to go to Revelation chapter 17 and verse 8, where is one of the places in Revelation where it talks about this man we call the Antichrist, but it refers to him as the beast. And it says, The beast that thou sawest, the beast that you saw, was and is not, and that sh shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition, which is destruction. And they that dwell in the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast who was and is not, and yet is. In the NIV, it talks about this same beast, it says, who ascends out of the abyss and goes to his destruction. And it talks about the beast who once was, who knows, now is not, and yet will come. So what is the meaning of this moniker, this name, this title, the beast who ascends out of the bottomless pit, having seven head, heads and ten horns, the beast who comes out of the abyss? Well, to learn about that, we're going to go to Luke chapter 4, which talks about this place called the Abyss.